Uh, what was the struggle for Blake tonight? Just throwing strikes. I mean, you know, what do you have? Six walks. Limited the damage for as much traffic as he had out there. But, um, you know, one of the few games we've seen here recently where he wasn't as proficient at throwing the ball over the plate. Talk about some of those decisions in, in the seventh inning. Why go to Morahone there? And, and No, we were comfortable with him. I mean, it was going to be, you're not going to get your matchup with Lindor, you know, switch hitting, and then we we're going to take him through McNeil and then do something different, try to turn Escobar around. We just didn't throw strikes either. It being where it is now, one game kind of all on the line. Yeah. Are, what, what are your kind of thoughts going into that with Joe on the mound? Uh, we feel good. I mean, Joe's pitched well for us all year. I mean, we'll be in pretty good shape with our bullpen as well. Um, but yeah, I think this team takes a lot of confidence with Joe. Okay. I'm going to stay with that, Kevin. Matchups with the, with the velocity tonight. What do you think of uh, some of the at-bats that you guys had? You know, we made him work. He made some pitches when he had to. Started leaning. You mean talk, talk about Jake? Started leaning on his slider there towards the end. Um, you know, the lefties were trying to push him away a little bit. Righties were trying to get him close to him. But he changed kind of what he was doing you know, midstream there and started going to his break and stuff and ended up being effective. Probably got one more inning than it looked like he was going to have as far as the pitch count went. When Manny's chasing certain pitches like this, is that Manny trying to do too much? Uh, that and I think, you know, Jacob's pretty good about throwing that fastball away and extending the slider off of it. So um, I think he, he pitched him pretty well. Over here on the right, Bill, second row. First two innings, uh, Jacob DeGrom was tough. And then after that, you guys were you know, trying to get some runs off him. How good was he? Well, I mean, he came out throwing 102, 101, 102. So obviously he had a good fastball early on. But I think what really made him effective later on is he, he changed kind of what he was doing, started leaning on his, his slider a lot more um, and kept us off balance that way. You stay here, Dennis? How much were you hoping for multiple innings in that spot for Marjon when you first put him in? We were. I mean, it, we, it, really, Escobar was going to be the kind of deciding factor on wh where we went. But, you know, you know, Lindor bloops one in, there, it gets a hit to right, and then two walks, and, you know, trying to get a lefty out, couldn't do it, so ended his day. But because of the fact that we didn't cover much with Blake, we were going to try to, you know, obviously try to extend Martinez, as we did too, and we're going to try to potentially do that with Marjon. Obviously, Josh Hader hasn't pitched in this series yet. Um, getting the ball to him, I think you talked yesterday about Suarez kind of emerging as the eighth inning guy. But what kind of a challenge do you anticipate, anticipate that being if you do get the chance to maybe put Josh? Yeah, I mean, tomorrow he's going to be in this game. And, you know, Suarez potentially multiple too. So, you know, our two most effective relievers will be part of this tomorrow. Far left there, Jake. The Mets have shown a willingness in the first couple of games to challenge you guys on the bases. What gives you confidence that tomorrow you'll be able to control their running game? Yeah, Joe's a little bit quicker to the plate. He's tougher to run on. So he's he's probably our best as far as controlling the running game. He fields his position well, um, does a lot of the intangible things that that maybe we weren't as good at here in the first couple games. You going to go over here to Hannah or in the middle? I'm just curious, from your perspective as a manager, what's different about um, going into a winner-take-all game that's at the end of a series versus just a one-game winner-take-all? Well, because there's a couple games that's you know played ahead of it, and there's some, you know, it's more like a regular series that is tied up at one-one as opposed to just going into one game. It just feels a little bit different because baseball is played in series. Can you elaborate on how it feels different? Uh, you know, it's just you get into the flow a little bit. You know how the other team's playing. Uh, there's a little bit more of, a, more of a pulse to a series than one game. So, you know, we come into a deciding game, but there's, you know, there's obviously been a lot of at-bats and a lot of different strategies involved and, and probably getting to know the team a little bit more so as well. Back to AJ. Kind of going off that a little bit. You worked some of their top relievers pretty hard today. And yeah. You should have your bullpen kind of set up nicely yep. going into tomorrow. Where does that leave you heading into a decisive game? No, look, we'll feel good. Obviously, we, we would have liked to have done a little better tonight. You know, it was a close game there in the middle innings and got away from us in the seventh. You know, we put some really good at-bats together in the ninth to put some pitches on some of their guys. But, uh, you know, look, it's, it's winner take all tomorrow. And I think they'll probably extend their guys even though they pitched some today as well. I'm going to go behind you to Jay. 
Uh, kind of to AJ's points, were you, were you surprised at all the way Buck used Edwin tonight? Uh, not really. I mean, I think he was going to try to get him through, you know, the seventh and then the middle part of our order in the eighth and see where, see where it ended up. So, no, he's done that before, I think, with him uh, getting him through the middle of the order. Well, there, Barry. Hey, Bob, a couple of things. Uh, I imagine nine walks and a hit batter in a, in a game where you could clinch a series is not what you wanted, huh? No, that's, you know, usually we're pretty good about throwing the ball over the plate. So, you know, early in the season, Blake had a little trouble with some walks here recently, not as much, but they made him work, and, you know, we ended up not having our best game as far as free passes. And then back to your decision on the use of Morjan. Morhon. Yeah, Morhon. When you had the 10-pitch the, you know, the walks back-to-back, -back, was there any consideration of uh, – Maybe cutting it short and getting another lefty in to to pitch to McNeil. No, we had we had a McNeil and we were going to go righty after that. If that's the case, originally we were potentially going to go a little bit more than one inning with him.